So here we are. What are we at? What are we doing? Well, we're at the dealership. Just got my bike inspected. And uh, I want to go over some things about this. All right, ready to go? Ready to go. So just leaving my local dealership, well, there's somebody who bought a 4x4, four four. taking a picture. That's usually what they do here if you buy a bike, they take a picture, put it on their social media page, Facebook page. So I had to get some uh, maintenance done on my bike, and I wanted to talk about the maintenance and uh, how much I paid to get maintenance done. So this, uh, this might be a little bit misleading because uh, you see me at the dealership and I'm talking about maintenance getting done. Let me go back a couple weeks ago. I took my bike in to get inspected. So New York State, we have to have a yearly inspection. And when I took my bike in, it failed. I don't know why it failed. Well, I do know why it failed. They said my tires, both my front and my rear tire, you know, had gone a little bit uh, <laughs> too low in the tread. I knew it was kind of low. I thought I might be able to get by with it, but I wasn't. So they failed me on the inspection, said I needed a front tire and a rear tire. So I usually do all of my own maintenance on my uh, gold wing. So after it failed, I took it home and uh, I said, all right, let me get the process started of getting these tires changed. So let me tell you, let's talk about how much it cost me to do the maintenance on my bike, get some stuff done on my bike. So naturally, first thing I had to do is I had to order tires. What I do is I order the tire myself, the tires I did in this case from um, Wing Stuff. I, I ride Bridgestone tires. I like them. They were the original tires on my bike. Um, those, that's what I've stuck with. I've had no problems with them. Uh, that cost me for the front and the rear tire, 450 bucks from Wing Stuff. I think there was a $50 rebate, but I'm not going to, that, you know, a gift card you get down the road. I'm not going to include that as far as the price, but what I paid with, out of, you know, out of pocket for the tires is $450. Uh, I get the tires sent to me, but now since I'm, I have to take the tires off, and what I do is I'll take the tires off and I'll take them to the dealership and I'll have them mount and balance new tires. I don't have a machine to take tires off, and I guess you can, you don't need a machine, you can do it with spoons and a bunch of other stuff i ain't doing that that's too much frustration that's too much curse words back and forth fighting to get your tires off and get them back on the rim for changing tires i just I'll take them off myself to save a little bit of money and then i'll um, take them to the dealership have them do it so 450 dollars for the tires took the tires off took them to the dealership had them mount the new tires that cost me 125 dollars so it used to be a lot cheaper um to get tires mounted, I don't know. It seemed to used to be like 35 bucks if you brought them the tire and the rim. They would charge you 35, 40 bucks. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Cost of everything has gone up. So to have two tires mounted, balanced, the old tires discarded, 125 bucks. So now since I have the tires off, well, there's an opportunity to do more, do more, more maintenance. I have almost 30,000 miles on my bike, 29,798 to be exact. And since I got the front tires off and since I got the rear tires off, I said, ah, let me change the brake pads. So I ordered new brake pads for the front and the rear. Uh, the front brake pads, because you got to buy them in sets, uh, was about 160 bucks. What I'll do at the end of this, uh, you know, I'll put in the exact amounts that I paid, but it was roughly 160 bucks, 80, 80 bucks per side. Uh, for the for the brake pads when I looked at them they did need to be changed the last time I changed my front brake pads was about 12,000 miles the bike had about 12,000 miles so I put almost 18,000 miles on the new set of brake pads for me and my riding style it wasn't it wasn't metal to metal but I would say probably the next time I'll go under 15,000 miles instead of 18,000 miles before I change the, the front brake pads out but got the front tire off might as well change the front brake pads so there you go 160 bucks for front brake pads 
change those by myself in my garage. Now I got the rear tire off. The rear tire, the brake pads last a lot longer than the front brake pads. I knew that, you know, from talking to people and reading stuff online. Well, I ordered the rear tire, rear brake pads. When I looked at those, those still had a lot of meat on them. Now again, I'm almost at 30,000 miles. Easily, I could have gotten another 15, I would say 10 to 15,000 miles out of those rear brake pads. Those didn't need to be changed. But since I got the tire off, I got the brake pads, I'm gonna put the new uh, pads on, which I did. And again, I would say going forward, I could easily get 40,000, 45,000 miles out of the rear brake pads before those need to be changed. What did the rear brake pads cost me? They cost me, I think it was somewhere around 90 bucks. Uh, 90 bucks for the rear brake pads. So, got the bike up on the lift, doing all this stuff, changing pads out, changing tires out. Might as well do an oil change. The last oil change I did was roughly 6,000 miles ago. Uh, for those of you who know, the Honda recommends oil changes every 8,000 miles, but hey, I'm close. I got the bike up. I'm working on it. Might as well change it. Oil change for us, the DCT cost me about uh, roughly $40 in oil. I go with the conventional oil. And uh, $10 for the DCT filter, $20 for the regular oil filter. Um, I said some, I had some other spare parts left over that you need. You need an O-ring and crush washers, but I already had those. Um, so that's what it cost me for the oil change. So just leaving the dealership now, thank goodness, bike passed inspection, so I'm good to go. But what have I paid roughly in doing my own maintenance for the things that I've done? So off the top of my head, I don't know, I think some, somewhere around what, $860, $850, I'll put the, the, the accurate amount up on the, the screen. I think, I, I'm not sure what the dealer would have charged to do everything that I had done, but my dealership rate is about $110 an hour in labor. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm quite sure that there would have been the dealer markup. Most dealers mark up 20% on parts. So when you're buying parts, if you're, if you're having the dealer buy them, you're paying probably about 20% more than what you would pay if you bought them yourself. Um, so I'm going to guess, I'm going to estimate that it would be well over $1,000, maybe into $1,100, maybe even more to have all the things done at the dealer. So I like saving a little bit of money doing it myself. Um, I also like the getting to know my own bike, getting to know how to do these things, how to, you know, change your brake, brake pads. You know, I did a little bit of beating of the brakes as well. So um, getting to learn your bike. And the one thing that I always say, the reason why I like working on my bike is when I start taking things apart, um, if a screw doesn't get put back or if it's, it's missing or something like that or it's stripped, I got no one to blame but myself. It really is irritating when you take your bike to a dealer or your car, whatever it is, to a, to a shop and they don't, you know, put things back the way they used to be. Or just how about this? The fact that you know it got done. If I know, when I go to get an oil change, if I'm doing the oil change myself, I know I'm putting a new filter in, I'm putting a new transmission filter, I'm doing all this other stuff. Sometimes you just don't know. I'm not saying they're malicious. Maybe they forgot. You just don't know. So I like doing my own work um, because I know that it's getting done. Also, lastly, if you're like me, if you've added the Farkles to your bike, I got the light rotor covers and all this other stuff. A lot of dealers, if they have to remove that stuff, um, to change your tire or do something like that, they're gonna charge you a little bit extra. Spending time to remove the accessories off of your bike um, so they can service your bike and then put the accessories back on your bike. Some dealers won't even do it. They're like, hey, you gotta take that stuff off before you even bring us your bike. Since I got all that stuff on, again, it makes it a little easier for me to do uh, my own maintenance. So, feeling good, late September, still able to ride a little bit. Um, bike's tip top shape. Got my maintenance done. And I believe saved a little bit of money doing it myself. So get out, ride your motorcycles. Don't be afraid to do the maintenance on the bikes yourself. There's plenty of videos out there that everything that I did on my bike, brake pads, tire change, um, or tire removal, I should say, um, oil change, there's videos online, there's videos you can find that will show you step by step how to do all this stuff. You don't have to be mechanically inclined, you don't have to know how to do anything. All you have to do 
is know how to follow by numbers. Watch the video, do this, do that, do this, do that, and you'll be able to do it, and you'll save yourself some money. So, all right, enough of me rambling. Get out, ride your motorcycles, have a good time, and we will be talking to you soon. Everyone, stay blessed.